Hey you, welcome back to YT Finance and this is the channel where I went to business school so you didn't need to and today we are talking about the best stocks to buy as well as the latest stock market news updates that investors need to know about. With that being said, go ahead and annihilate that like button right now, subscribe if you are new, comment down below your thoughts about any or all of these stories and with that being said, let's get right into it. The general stock market has been lifted as you can see here because stocks popped off last week thanks to big tech's impressive earnings with the S&P 500 and the NASDAQ. NASDAQ posting their best weeks since November. You can clearly see that the NASDAQ, the S&P 500, and the Dow Jones are up significantly in their respected prices year to date. I personally see further upside in these various indexes because earnings results are going to continuously come in from major companies, and I believe these earnings results will be quite positive. Since the general stock market is doing well, what about individual stocks? Well, clearly individual stocks are also performing very well, and as an example of this, let's talk about NVIDIA, which is a gigantic artificial intelligence company. NVIDIA recently notched its best weekly gain in almost a year, jumping by 15%. This caused the company to add nearly $290 billion worth of market capitalization. So year to date, the company is up over 80% in the respected share price to now trade at around $877.35. For me personally, I think NVIDIA is one of the best companies to buy right now, especially if you are looking to buy a very stable and fundamentally solid artificial intelligence stock. Speaking about AI stocks, let's quickly talk about Tesla. Tesla, ticker symbol TSLA, and we're actually going to talk more about Tesla a little later in this video. Tesla, if you didn't know, is an electric vehicle manufacturer, but they are also so much more than that, considering that they also specialize in artificial intelligence, energy storage, and energy generation. The reason why Tesla is in the news is because they are trying to roll out their full self-driving capabilities, and to quote straight from the article, it says, a week after postponing a trip to India due to very heavy Tesla obligations, according to Musk, he found time to fly to Beijing, where his meeting with Chinese officials took place. According to a Reuters report, the purpose of this visit to Beijing is to discuss the rollout of Tesla's full self-driving driver-assisted software over in China, which is not yet available in this country due to data collection concerns from the Beijing government. Obviously, Beijing is located over in China, and China is Tesla's second largest market outside of the United States. So if Tesla can end up making a deal with the Chinese government, this is going to benefit the company because they will be able to roll out their full self-driving driver-assisted software over in China, which would add it to their revenues and their earnings. But we're going to talk more about this story in depth a little later in the video. But right now, just hold on to that idea because I personally am a huge fan of Tesla and I believe that there is further upside in this company. We also have a huge week ahead of us in regards to macroeconomic news and catalysts. It's going to be a big week for investors, considering that the Federal Reserve meetings will take place on Tuesday and Wednesday in regards to inflation and lowering or increasing or even keeping interest rates stable. Obviously, depending on what these interest rates do, this is going to either positively or negatively impact the general stock market and the economy. It kind of goes without saying, but lower interest rates would be ideal for investors, so hopefully the Federal Reserve will either keep interest interest rates stable or potentially give us a date when they plan to lower interest rates. And once that happens, that is going to be a phenomenal catalyst for the general stock market. Apart from that, we also have the April's jobs report dropping on a Friday, and hopefully we are going to get good news from this, and I think we will. As far as the Federal Reserve meetings on Tuesday and Wednesday, according to the article, the Fed is expected to hold interest rates steady at these meetings for the foreseeable future until they decide to drop interest rates. On the other hand, for the April jobs report dropping on Friday, economists are projecting another strong month for employment growth. So again, this is a very good catalyst for the general economy and of course the stock market itself. We also have good news in regards to two other Magnificent 7 stocks will report their earnings results this week. As of right now, analysts expect huge revenue growth from Amazon, which is a gigantic e-commerce company. However, there is significantly less optimism when it comes to Apple's upcoming earnings results because of their declining iPhone sales over in China. But don't let that dissuade you because we're going to talk more about Apple a little later in the video and they actually got a price target upgrade, which I am very excited about. You should also be aware that the pharmaceutical giant named Eli Lilly will also reveal their blockbuster weight loss and diabetes medications that have been selling extremely well. So anticipate very strong results going forward for Eli Lilly. For me personally, I hold Apple, Amazon, Eli Lilly, and Tesla in my personal portfolios because I believe these are all fundamentally strong companies that I want to hold for the long term. But always make sure to do your own research before you make any investment decisions. And a few odd stock market news update stories in regards to Paramount Global, 
they could fire their CEO as soon as this morning, according to a CNBC report, and I found that rather interesting, but no major details were given about this. But now let's start to analyze some individual stocks, such as TSMC, also known as TSM, which is their ticker symbol. If you didn't know, TSMC is Taiwan Semiconductor Manufacturing, and they are a top chip maker. This company has been in the news quite a lot, considering that they have gotten billions of dollars from the Biden administration to ramp up a semiconductor facilities over in Phoenix, Arizona. But always make sure to do your own research before you invest into any particular company. So if you are looking for some of the best artificial intelligence stocks to buy, I would highly recommend you look further into companies like ASML, TSM, NVIDIA, Palantir, and many others. But now let's talk about one of my favorite favorite stocks, which is none other than SoFi Technologies, ticker symbol S-O-F-I. SoFi Technologies is a digital bank, and they are a major fintech company that is taking the general market by storm. Recently, SoFi Technologies posted its second straight quarter of profitability, and they topped revenue estimates. But the news gets even better, because this company reported two cents a share in regards to their earnings per share, which beat Wall Street estimates because Wall Street thought the company was only going to bring in one cent per share. On top of that, their adjusted revenue came in at around $580 million for the quarter, and this beat analysts' consensus estimates of $555 million. So again, this is more great news for this fintech company company. However, there is some bad news here because SoFi Technologies did give predictions for the second quarter to where SoFi believes that they will bring in adjusted net revenue between $555 million and $565 million. The reason why this is a bad thing is because analysts predict that they should actually bring in $581 million and SoFi's overall projection is substantially lower than that. But luckily, the company also forecasts that their earnings per share will be between 8 to 9 cents, which is an increase from their previous call to where they predict predicted and estimated that they could bring in 7 to 8 cents per share. So again, this is actually a good news development. So this is all very good news for SoFi Technologies, and I like to see how they are growing their various segments within the company. But in general, I am an investor into SoFi Technologies, and I would highly recommend you look further into this company as well if you want a fundamentally strong company in your portfolio. Now let's talk about that Apple upgrade, which I teased a little bit before, because Apple, ticker symbol AAPL, is a gigantic technology company, which I also personally own in my portfolio. The reason why investors are are talking about Apple right now is because they were recently upgraded, and the analyst had to say the following, and I quote, AAPL has derated significantly amid a weak iPhone 15 cycle and fears that Apple's China business is structurally impaired. He goes on to say, we believe prevailing weakness in China is more cyclical than structural, and note that historically, Apple's China business has exhibited much higher volatility than Apple overall, given its very feature-sensitive installed base, end quote. Based on these comments, this analyst raised his rating on Apple to an outperform rating from the original market perform rating, and he kept his $195 price target. For their upcoming earnings report, analysts believe that the company will report earnings per share of $1.51 and revenues of $90.6 billion. So these are very positive news updates for their upcoming earnings results. I also want to talk more about Tesla now, because like I said before, if you could acquire this company's shares below $150, it's an absolute steal. But even this company under $200 is relatively good. And here's what I mean. According to a Wedbush securities analyst, which is Daniel Ives, who is a very prominent analyst, he is a longtime Tesla bull, and recently he wrote that Musk's visit to China was a home run. Even though the company is currently trading at around $180 per share, Daniel Ives, as well as myself, believe this company could surge up to $275 per share over the next 12 months, which is why we both rate this company as an outperform rating, which is great news. On top of that, according to the article, Tesla will team up with Beidou, which will provide access to its mapping data and provide its lane-level navigation service for full self-driving. Due to Elon Musk's visit to China, they're teaming up with Beidou, as well as Daniel Ives being very positive on the stock, Tesla's share price jumped by around 12% during pre-market trading. And Dan Ives isn't alone in this, because Kathy Wood of ARK Invest is also heavily investing into Tesla right now, to where she believes that Tesla is, quote, the biggest artificial intelligence project on Earth. If you didn't know, Kathy Wood has been a long time at Tesla Bull, meaning that she is very positive when it comes to Tesla stock, and she believes the company over the long term could have increasing value, meaning that their full self-driving as well as their robo-taxi technology could make this a trillion dollar
dollar company. And even though I am not as bullish on Tesla as Kathy Wood is, I still heavily invest into Tesla, especially if it's below $200 per share. But I'd love to hear your thoughts about this company down below in the comments. Next up, let's talk about more artificial intelligence companies, starting off with none other than AMD, which is Advanced Micro Devices. AMD, whose ticker symbol is AMD, is likely to offer up significantly weaker guidance when it reports their upcoming earnings. This shouldn't be a surprise, considering that the PC market right now is a mixed bag. However, they do still have a positive rating, but some analysts lowered their price target for this company down to $185 per share. For me personally, I still think AMD is a great buying opportunity right now, and here's why. The article says that amid the concerns about the core business, there may be upside from AMD's artificial intelligence endeavors. Comprised of its MI300 AI accelerator, a analyst says it's likely, though, that upward revisions to the MI300 are necessary for the stock to move higher, especially as investor sentiment has cooled since NVIDIA held its GTC conference last month. Currently, for AMD's upcoming earnings results, they expect AMD to post $0.61 cents per share, and they also anticipate that their revenues will be around $5.45 billion. This is why analysts are largely cautious on AMD right now, so they give it a hold rating. However, Wall Street analysts in particular have a buy rating on this company, so always make sure to do your own research before you make any investment decision. As for me, I do own some AMD shares because I believe over the long term, this company could pay off massively. But again, always make sure to do your own research. Speaking about the best artificial intelligence stocks to buy right now, we can't make an AI list without also mentioning a Palantir Technologies, ticker symbol PLTR. Palantir Technologies is a big data and analytics company which serves both commercial enterprises as well as government agencies. So far, Palantir's PLTR stock has jumped up around 26% in 2024, and they even jumped 164.5% last year. We reported on Palantir literally for two years straight almost every single day, and we predicted this giant jump in their share price, which ended up coming true. Obviously, now the hype around Palantir Technologies is in regards to their artificial intelligence platform known as AIP. The company has been using their AIP boot camps to continuously draw in new customers, which is a great idea in my opinion. This has led their U.S. commercial revenues to surge by 70% year over year, and they are also continuously attracting new customers. But we also need to keep in mind that Palantir doesn't just sell their software to U.S. commercial enterprises because they also do business with the U.S. military. According to the article, Palantir has been playing a key role in helping the U.S. military and intelligence agencies identify trends and patterns in intelligence and confidential information reports. Palantir has been rapidly growing both of their business segments in regards to commercial enterprises as well as government agencies, and I think this is going to further fuel the company's share price going higher and higher as the years roll by. Next up, let's talk about Shopify, ticker symbol SHOP, and this is another e-commerce company. Recently, Shopify's shop shares have recently jumped because Citigroup upgraded the stock to a buy rating, and they increased their price target by 13% up to $105. On top of that, they also believe that this company is a good long-term company to hold in your portfolio due to its future growth prospects, and I agree with them. Currently, Shopify shares are down 20%, and many analysts believe right now is a great buying opportunity because this cheaper share price in shop shares give investors an attractive entry point into the stock and company. You should also be aware that Shopify will bring in earnings results on May 8th to where their adjusted profit will be around 17 cents per share on revenues of $1.84 billion. Now, if you want more stock news updates or if you want to know the best stocks to buy right now, go ahead and annihilate that like button right now. Subscribe if you are new. Comment down below your thoughts about any or all of these stories. And with that being said, I will see you in the next YT video.